Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how much respiratory therapists make. If this is something that you want to know, and if you're interested in this topic, definitely stick around to find out more about this. Hey guys, I'm Daniel from Dolder Media. You might not recognize me, but I got a lot of tan going on in my face because I was just in Florida. So I'm still the same person, <laughs> I just look a lot better. If you're thinking about becoming an RT, and money's something that's pretty important for you, I probably would recommend not becoming an RT or any anything in the medical field because of the money. Although the pay is nice oftentimes, what you have to do in the job is definitely not worth the money. And I would even say that there's no amount of money that's kind of worth what you see. So if you're trying to go into respiratory just because of the money, probably don't do that. See if that's something that you actually like. If it's something you actually like, then definitely the compensation is pretty good in some states but today i'm going to be talking about how much you get paid most of my statistics are from the bureau of labor and statistics bls i'm going to have a link down below so you guys can actually look at all this by yourselves uh, there's a lot more information i'm not going to cover i'm just going to go over the basics of how much you should expect to get paid in each state or at least roughly in the major states that people work in so right off the bat the average pay for an RT in the United States is roughly $63,000 a year, which goes to about $30 an hour. Now that's the average for the whole United States. You definitely have states that lower that number. The average pay in California, for example, goes anywhere from $30 all the way up to $60 an hour. So it's definitely different than just the average of the whole nation. One of the great things about being an RT right now, or at least in the next decade, so if you start going to school right now, by the time you graduate, you're still gonna have a good chance of finding a job, and that's one of the good benefits of becoming an RT. According to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, uh, RT jobs are gonna go up by 23% in the next decade, or within this decade. So that means that there's gonna be a huge increase in how many jobs there are here in the United States. So the job is definitely growing, it's growing at a much faster rate than other jobs. So if this is something that's interesting for you, you definitely want to look into becoming one as soon as possible while the jobs are still growing and while you can actually get hired straight out of school. So if you actually look at this graph, uh, the annual mean wage of respiratory therapists by state, uh, this is for 2020, is pretty much what you expect. If you look at the states in the south, uh, Louisiana all the way to Georgia, you're probably getting the lowest amount of money. I did the math, it's somewhere around $20 an hour. It's not too much money, but if you go all the way to the blue states, uh, from Washington all the way down to Alaska and New York, even Minnesota surprisingly, uh, these states are anywhere around $40 to $50 an hour. If you're looking at becoming an RT and you want to move to one of the blue states, I highly recommend that. I wouldn't recommend doing what respiratory therapists do and only getting paid about 20, 30 bucks an hour. It's definitely not about the money, but when you see people dying on a daily basis, I don't think $20 is going to cut it. I think some states and some employers definitely don't want to compensate you for what you're worth. So if you are in one of those states, I wouldn't recommend becoming an RT. That's probably not the best profession. If you are in a state that pays a lot more, it's something that you should probably consider. And again, it's not about the money, but I'm just saying you're going to see a lot of people die. You're going to you're going to have a, a hard time sleeping after work sometimes. There's days when you go home and you're just you have nightmares and you're still thinking about code blues and just people suffering. And for you to only get paid $20 an hour when the minimum wage in most places is like $15 an hour, I just don't see why you should do that. But like I said, if you want, this is the map that tells you where you do want to live to get the best compensation for what you're doing. In the actual highest paying areas, uh, you actually want to be living in one of these areas or at least working in one of these areas. The highest paid area is San Francisco, Oakland, Hayward going down to uh, San Jose, pretty much the whole Silicon Valley, San Francisco area and any surrounding area. So where I live in Sacramento is on this list too, just because of San Francisco and its proximity. Actually, almost every single county or area that pays the most happens to be in California and it happens to be somewhere in close proximity to the Bay Area. The only place that's on the list that's not even close is uh, Kingston, New York. But other than that, 
if you do want to become an RT and you want to make a career out of this, definitely consider moving to a place like California just because you're actually going to be compensated fairly. So in my personal experience, what I've noticed is that although you, let's say you're getting paid uh, somewhere around 40 to $45 an hour, you can still make a lot more money with overtime. There's also a lot of differentials. Uh, working night shift gets you a lot more money than working day shift. Uh, some hospitals pay incentives to work weekends. So there's all these little things that kind of motivate you to pick up extra shifts. For the most part, in most states, you're gonna be pretty happy with how much you get paid. It's definitely a pretty good career in terms of how much you're compensated and also the skills that you acquire and what you kind of do for a living. So you will be happy with how much you get paid. And if you are trying to get extra money, let's say you're trying to buy a house or something, there is always gonna be opportunities for you to pick up extra shifts uh, do double time, overtime. Uh, sometimes there is even programs where you could do teaching gigs, or I know a lot of RTs that they have their job at the hospital, and for an extra day of the week, what they do is they go to people's homes and set up CPAP machines. So there's a lot of opportunities for you outside of just working at the hospital. So it's definitely not just your nine to five job and you get paid and you go home. After you pick do your two three days a week at the hospital there's still a lot of opportunities outside of that for you thank you guys for watching if you stuck around till this far i want to tell you thank you for supporting me i just finally got monetized uh, about a week or two ago and it's been pretty interesting it's about it's been about a year for me this journey has been a, a lot of fun i've had a lot of fun making videos for you guys let me know if there's any other videos you guys want me to make if you guys want me to make a video about nurses and how much they get paid or how much or anything about my YouTube career, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely respond to them and let you know. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.